A few weeks ago, Sean and I were working on the lot, Ivan 2104. We were doing a timing set and valve adjustment, and on the Facebook page, Richard from Manitoba had a question for us. Here's a great idea for your next video. How to tighten the timing chain with the engine still in the car. I see plenty of videos of guys doing this to an engine on a stand, and I understand the concept, but no one seems to show it done to an actual engine in a running car. Well, Richard, it's a pretty simple thing to do, as you've seen, but there's a trick. On the crankshaft, you'll notice that there's a large nut. This one's a 38 millimeter, and a socket like this will fit perfectly. However, you require an adapter and a socket wrench. We're ready to spin this engine, but there's nowhere to put this thing. It doesn't work. And no one wants to pull the radiator and the fan and drain all the coolant just to adjust the cam timing tension. So Sean's got a really handy way to fit this in there. As stated by Darren, with the radiator in the car, this won't fit, which pretty much renders it useless. So I made this which as you can see, is a lot shallower profile and will fit. So this can go away. Now this little piece, all it is is a cut down socket with a chunk of flat bar. Very simple tool, very basic. And it'll fit in two different spots on this car for turning the engine over. First one, from the top, you can get down in and wedge around and you can get onto the nut so that you can turn this engine over with no problems and you can readjust it and put it wherever you need. The other way you can do it is, if you don't have a chin splitter, it's a little easier, but you can reach up and in between, in front of the sway bar, and you can put it on the socket as well. And you can adjust and turn the engine as needed. We are now gonna show you how to build one of these, and we're gonna ship the final product off to Richard so that he can adjust the timing chain tension without removing the engine from his car. We're over here at the workbench, and we're gonna get ready to start building our tool. Now it starts off with a cheap socket as well as a 24 millimeter power fister wrench made of the bestest cheap chinesium. First thing we're going to do is we're actually going to reduce the depth of the socket. So we're going to do a tape line that goes all the way around to give us a reference cut line and we're going to cut this in about half the width of that normally is. After that we will take our wrench, we're going to cut this end off as well as this end and we're going to affix it and weld it directly on. Clean up all the welds, and then we're gonna see if she works. We now have the finished product of our Power Fister Power Turner. And now we just gotta make sure that it fits and does the intended job that it's meant for. So, you just reach down in and you get onto the engine nice and easy. And you lift up and you can turn it over. And if I can do it with my big hands, nearly anybody can get in there. And you can reposition. And where the handle is actually smooth, you can 
actually one hand put it in place very easily. You can choke up on it quite nicely. So this will work quite well. Richard, I hope you like it. Sean demonstrated how to build one for yourself and how it works. This should get Richard back on the road to tightening up his timing chain. And we're not normally in the business of making tools and giving them away. However, Richard is one of our earliest YouTube channel supporters and did a lot to help promote us on the internet when we were new. So as an appreciation, here's a free tool. Enjoy it, man. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to our channel for new and exciting videos. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.